the biggest risk, uh, you know, for, for markets uh, are, are two types of things. One is U.S. domestic politics, and the second is the black swan uh, effects that can happen. So it wouldn't be a surprise if we saw market setbacks at certain moments during uh, during 2020. You always looked at credit risk, interest rate risk, future cash flows, but uh, transition risk. Where is a company on? The transition, what's their plan? What could derail the markets is a radical change in monetary policy, be it on the back of inflation or an external event that could trigger uh, disruptions. If credit is that available that you can borrow for 100 years at 2%, uh, people may get overextended. And then if there's a, uh, is there a shock to interest rates, that could be quite a correction. There will be booms and busts again at some point, although I don't see one anytime, you know, anytime soon. But it doesn't feel like the pieces are in place for a substantial market correction unless there's something meaningfully different in the current shape of that global economic and indeed geopolitical picture.